All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. And again, I have to apologize for going kind of AWOL here. I am a cutting the cord expert, and it's something that I have a kind of a playlist here on YouTube that I haven't updated in a while. But one of the sticking points about cutting the cord is you don't get a whole lot of sports, which is annoying for people like me, but it's kind of a necessity. Well, I have a Plex DVR for the rest of the house, and a lot of my son's games this year are going to be uh, done through normal TV, and so are the, uh, the, the World Series. The Diamondbacks made it to the World Series, and the first game is tonight. And my Plex Media server, that is my basically where I can record four streams from my over-the-air antenna, uh, the, the, the power supply took a dump. And uh, this happened... Over the last couple of days, not, uh, yesterday and the day before, it would just randomly turn off, and it was because the power supply was getting too hot, it died, and I had to overnight a power supply and get that all set up today. So my time has been used up dealing with this computer. That's what you get with a nine-year-old computer. That, that power supply did last quite a while. But I am back with a brand new DC update, and today we're going to be talking about m mainly Aquaman 2. And my last video... People came out and were bashing me for the comments that that James Wan had made that that a lot of the stuff that was out there was false information. Yet some of it was from his own mouth, things that he he has said in interviews in the past. And why would he be doing this? Well, to save face, uh, he wants people to go see Aquaman. This is an attempt to kind of pacify both the fans to try and in an effort to get them to go and also in an attempt to not piss off the studio because everybody knows at this point that there is going to be a sale on Warner Brothers Discovery at some point in the near future. And I do not know what's going on with my video. It's changing colors. It's really bizarre in here. Uh, I don't even know why I have the blue hue over in this area. I have no idea where that blue hue is coming from. Uh, there's something weird going on with the camera. But uh, it's, it looks kind of cool, but it's kind of weird. But at any rate, he is uh, he's just trying to save face. That's all it is. And so we're going to look at some of the things that I grabbed here today, and we're going to talk about each of these photos. This is the quote that kind of got everybody up in arms, yet he has come out in the past and said he was utterly exhausted after doing this movie. And so... He is saying this because they know that the studio is going to be sold and they may want jobs in the future. And he's just trying to say, stay in the good graces of the studio. Now, this is something that came out that I thought was freaking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I do enjoy humor if it's done right. And this is pretty funny. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill uh, doing the whole disguise thing. I thought this was pretty funny. So the next photo here is from the Hollywood Handle. It says, James Gunn has had conversations with Blue Beetle director Angel Manuel Soto about where Jamie Reyes will return next in the DCU. And that's via Screen Rant. And supposedly this is going to be in the Booster Gold show. That's the next time we might see him show up. But nobody knows for sure if those projects are ever going to get off the ground. But that apparently is what the plan is. And what people are talking about behind the scenes. Now, is this true? Again, most of what I talk about can be considered rumor until these things actually happen, as with any channel. But there is a possibility that this is uh, very much true. So here, kind of, here's kind of what I was talking about at the beginning of my video that James Wan debunks rumors regarding the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom reshoots. We probably did sev seven or eight days of reshoots which is nothing for a movie of this size. The noise is fun to write about, and it gets clicks, but people don't know the truth. And this comes from Variety. Again, why is he saying this after a lot of the, the stuff that came out about him in the past? Well, because, again, he's trying to save face with the studio. He wants to do as much as he can to try and save this movie, even though everybody knows it is going to tank. Uh, they, they just, yeah... Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about the trajectory of these movies and why they are tanking and the fact that this is going to be a comedy buddy film. And that came directly from James Wan. There you go. You've already ruined your own film by calling it a buddy comedy. Uh, they just don't understand what the audience wants. 
Now, our movie news is is one of the people that I do follow on Twitter. I think he comes up with some very well thought out posts, and he said, "I think there are there are many DC fans who aren't going to watch the DCU, not because they think it will bring back the DC EU or Snyderverse, but because it simply just doesn't appeal to them, or the way the DCU is being reshooted has broken all their trust, or both." He is 100% on this, and this is why I've lost all faith. I just don't trust the studio, and I never will. I've been seeing this stuff go on ever since Superman 2 was released way back in the early 80s. The studio just can't help themselves. They don't care about the fans, and I don't think they ever will. They talk about the bottom line, but we're going to talk about which of the movies are actually making money for Warner Brothers and they're not the movies they expect to be making mo- money for them. So we're going we're gonna to be talking about that here in a few minutes. So it was just about a year ago where Henry Cavill announced he was coming back. And this goes back to what we were just I was just talking about with the last photo. And where James Gunn came in and changed everything. And, was, and this is from Screen Rant. It said, Henry Cavill revealed his Superman return a year ago. And now DC fans have strong reactions. Have? They've had. They all said it all lasted it all it all lasted too short. Replaced just like that. Heartbreaking. We were so close to Man of Steel too. I can't believe they did this. This is exactly and this is why people have lost trust in the studio and they simply don't care about what's happening in the future. Now I'm going to be covering all of this stuff because this is what my channel is. It's a review channel and I do love DC stuff. But I have I am not excited at all about the future. I, I feel like I've been stabbed in the back by the studio, and they just don't care. And so this it, it, this has all been going around social media for the last couple of days in regards to what's been going on, and this is why people have lost interest. Now, this is the crazy thing. Uh, this is something else that our movie news posted. I don't think I would have seen this otherwise, but it says, Now, this is confusing. Affleck gone, but Joe stays. And so... Somebody had asked, is Joe Manganiello, will he return to the DCU as Slade Wilson? And My Time to Shine Hello says he's James Gunn, James Gunn's BFF, so yes, he will be returning. And some people are speculating that this is going to happen in Peacemaker Season 2. And there's no, that's just a big rumor, but that is where people are speculating it is going to happen. If you bring Joe Manganiello back, but you don't bring Ben Affleck back, That isn't going to go over well with the audience. And this is how tone deaf Warner Brothers actually is. Now, here's James Wan actually telling the truth about Aquaman. And it's it's good that he's doing this. I mean, he's doing his best to appease the fans as well as the studio. But James Wan has commented if Batman might appear in Aquaman 2. He said, probably not. All I'll say is that those scenes were just to have something in the bank in case we needed to explain time continuity if we came out first. But it ended up with Lost Kingdom coming after The Flash. That is not the case here. Uh, it, it, and here's the thing that, that irks me about all of this and, and also pisses off a lot of the fans. We have all these scenes that have now been filmed that we're never going to see. People wanted to see Keaton back. People wanted to see Affleck back. But you take those things out. And Affleck had a big scene. It has been confirmed that at the end of the movie, he was in a big part of the big battle at the end, and that was all taken out. So you not only do you tease us with this stuff, you then rob us of it and, and, and yank it away. It, it, it's just crazy. This is how stupid Warner Brothers Discovery actually is. And it's this kind of stuff that has pissed off the fans to where they just don't care about what Warner Brothers does anymore. It's stuff like this. Now, this also came from James Wan, and I thought this was kind of funny. James Wan talks about Amber Heard's smaller role in Aquaman's sequel. He said, it's fair that Amber Heard said that about the character being pared down, because she wasn't in my head as I was working on this movie. Actors don't necessarily know what directors behind the scenes are thinking about, but this was always my plan. Again, he's saving grace with the studio. He's saving face with the fans. He is, he's just trying to do this to get people to go see the movie. And we've seen this happen with The Flash already. And we saw it with Blue Beetle, with weird comments coming out by the directors and them just trying to save face with the fans. But it's not going to work. 
again, these this film is doomed. Uh, there's no question about it. It is doomed to fail. Now, I found this interesting, and I haven't checked this, but it says the Batman suit reportedly added, then removed from Batman Arkham Knight. And if you haven't ever played these games, these games are freaking amazing. But it says Batman Arkham Knight reportedly had a new suit added to its Batcave, at least briefly, as Robert Pattinson's cape and cowl from 2022's The Batman appeared in the game but was quickly removed. Uh, That's kind of interesting. I haven't popped that game in in a long time. I did replay the first one on my Steam Deck, but I I still have to play the other three, and I'm going to go back and play those uh, as well, but I haven't gotten to this one yet. Now, this this here shows you how, and this right here proves my fear about James Gunn himself. People talk about why I don't like him. I didn't have a problem with him so much when he was the CEO, but as soon as he started writing and directing you know, all the projects that are currently in production, yeah, I've got a problem with that. James Gunn promises variety, uh, a variety of tones in upcoming DCU films and will not follow the approach he had for the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. He said it will shift from project to project. And this is the quote, this is the part that concerns me, and will reflect the unique sensibilities of the filmmakers involved, he said. He didn't talk about the characters, He didn't talk about the individual projects. He said it will shift from project to project that will reflect the unique sensibilities of the filmmakers involved. Who is James Gunn as a filmmaker? Disgusting potty humor. It's just the the bottom of the barrel type, lowest common denominator type of humor. This is what he brings to the table. So he's not talking about the project. Is it's gonna the project will reflect the unique sensibilities of filmmakers involved. It's not about what's right for the characters. It's about what the filmmakers want. And we already know what James Gunn is a filmmaker. He's never done anything serious, ever. So that's what concerns me more than anything. All right. So there's kind of my DC update for the day. It's everything everybody's been talking about the one year anniversary of of what happened with Cavill, and and it's just gotten worse from there. And, you know, I don't see anything getting better. Now, I will be back a little bit later with another video in regards to Disney. Uh, Disney's doing an about-face on how they've treated their fans over the last four to five years, and they're trying to save grace. And they made a big move that is kind of funky, and I'm going to talk about that in my next video. So you're not if you're not subscribed, you will not get a notification on that. You want to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as soon as that video comes out. But I will be recording that video shortly. I do appreciate the support. We will see you guys on the next video.